Hello everyone, Satorn here discussing another interest group, this time the Intelligentsia as Egypt. What we're going to try to do is go from 1% clout to 20% clout. Uh, it's going to be tough, and we're going to try to do it as fast as we can, and we're going to come up with a game plan, so let's get into it. First things first, let's take a look at Egypt's government. Landowners is at 53% clout, which is not a shock, but it is outside the government, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to suppress that to get that going. Uh, we probably don't have the best uh, free speech law. Yeah, right of assembly. Uh, it'd be nice to get censorship, so we may try to do that as well to increase or bolster and suppression impact. Looking at the armed forces, we may want to demilitarize uh, some of our nation here because we are super strong. We have 130 battalions, and we're not going to need that because we're really not going to be going to war. We just need to defend ourselves. And we have a bunch of generals and admirals, so we may clean that up to actually get some bureaucracy. This will also turn around our uh, definitely our balance right here for our economy is not looking very hot. So I think that's how we're going to clean some of this up. The next step is to start producing some jobs that are going to want to join the intelligentsia. So here the bureaucrats have a 49% chance. So we're going to want that as well as what's not listed here is academics. So if we check our buildings, what we're going to want to produce is we're going to want to produce government administration. Here you can see we get plus 500 bureaucrats. And for universities, we get plus 1,000. But since we don't have state religion, which is great, we could switch these over. Um, and what it does, is it'll convert over here 2,700. 150 clergymen over to bureaucrats per building which is really good or at least for the buildings that we have right now so that's a really nice switch over and uh for here we're going to do the same thing for secular academia so this is going to put us in good shape and if we're producing all those buildings what our economy is going to look like is we're going to have a ton of paper mills or have to do a lot of trade but i don't think egypt is super strong in trade yeah we don't have a lot of extra convoys so uh, we will do some trading maybe for wood or we're going to actually produce some wood as well so definitely paper is going to be our biggest thing because we're just going to be built we want as much paper as possible government administration buildings and universities that's the game plan the last thing to tweak before we start the game is going to be the budget. We're going to do things a little bit differently this time. What we're going to do is we're going to, again, have the government wages go way up, which is good. So this is going to help the intelligentsia and pretty much the government administration building and the universities. But what we're going to do is we're going to lower the military wages down to like nothing. So what this will do is it'll make actually the military weaker and we may actually be able to afford our military or I'm going to have to demilitarize like I'm planning. And the government wages are definitely going to help. Um, so this is definitely like I've said before and uh, you know definitely where clout comes is a lot of it comes down to wealth so we want to make sure that the groups for the intelligence are getting paid as much as possible. Less than a year in, we've jumped up from 1% to 7% on the intelligentsia, which is great. Uh, what we did is we built, again, just one university and starting to switch some things around in the economy to try to get that going. We're going to also build uh, some, we need paper really bad um, and wood, so we're going to be working on that for sure. Uh, yeah, because our wood is not doing very good, so we need to get that going. Um, we're building another paper mill, so that's not going to help the intelligentsia that much, but we're going to do that, some government administration buildings, keep this rolling. Uh, but this is a great uh, beginning for sure. We enacted censorship to help with their bolstering and suppression. We're still struggling, though. Uh, definitely things are growing, but not at a great pace. Uh, so we're trying our best here. We're at 11.8%, uh, so it's getting there. Um, and we're getting close to some revolutions. We're really pissing off some people, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get there soon. We got to break uh, either like serfdom or maybe slavery. That would definitely help a lot. Serfdom has been abolished, so this is huge. This is going to reduce uh, definitely the landowner's strength by quite a bit, so we could probably make some moves now. We had a revolution pop. They want to restore serfdom, but we're not going to allow it, so we'll fight that back. Uh, since we're able to get the petite bourgeoisie into the government, we're able to get appointed bureaucrats, which is great. This is going to give us the plus 25% political strength uh, to intelligentsia, and then we're also going to be able to change some of our buildings over here as well. Um, so here, for example... The uh, government administration are now going to be able to switch over aristocrats to bureaucrats, which is huge. So just under nine years, and I think it might have happened even sooner, but we're at 25% clout. We are now the interest group leader. We are in the government. Uh, so we did it. We probably could do it even sooner, but this was uh, a definitely a tough one, especially since Egypt, uh, definitely some of the laws were not working with us for sure. And it took a little bit of time and the RNG on the rolls uh, weren't the best, but uh, we still have slavery. But the biggest thing that we got rid of was uh, serfdom. So I'd say definitely uh, if, if you're 
trying to hunt towards this and try to get uh, intelligentsia in place and at 20% uh, as soon as possible, I would say definitely you want to get rid of slavery and serfdom as soon as you can. Uh, church and state, I think freedom of conscience is actually really nice. Appointed bureaucrats is huge. This made actually the, the, the biggest difference. Um, I think schools might help a little bit too, but there's no big rush there. Uh, so, and again, the large impact that like I've been trying to say to everybody is make sure that you uh, get professions that are going to impact your interest group. So for example, uh, we created universities. So we have about eight universities and 20 government administration buildings. Uh, this really made the difference and what really got us the majority of people into our interest group. And you can see it here. If we look at the breakdown, we have 11,000 bureaucrats and we always had a 50% chance of them actually joining it. And the academics here, we had a 62%. It started out low. We had nothing, if you remember, in the beginning of the run. Uh, so now, you know, they have a 62% chance. So I knew academics was good. So universities was definitely a great push. And what really uh, also helped was for sure a government wages and giving them as much money as possible and lowering the military wages because they were pretty high at the time um, and we had a lot of military so we also demilitarized a little bit it wasn't great for our nation our rank did drop quite a bit uh, we were a lot stronger but we did uh, hit our goal if you like this type of content and want to see how quickly we could get other interest groups up to 20 percent clout let me know put it down in the comments below hit that like subscribe notification button it's free and as always for the swarm